All right, welcome to Rules, Confirmations, and Public Elections. We do have a quorum. I'm just gonna go through just visually. Um, Chair Johnston's here, Council Lady Evans, Council Lady um, Murphy, Councilman Rosenberg, Council Lady, Councilman Rutherford, I'm sorry, Council Lady Sepulveda and Council Lady Stiles are all here. Um, I typically put um, all of my resolutions on um, a consent agenda just for time. So I'm gonna read through them. If anybody wants to pull anything off, let me know. RS 2021-901, Johnson approves the election of certain notaries public for Davidson County. RS 2021-928, honors the life of Senator Thelma Harper. RS 2021-929, honors the life of Ira Stephen Steve North Sr. Um, RS 2021-930, honors off. the life, what? Off consent, 930. Okay. RS 2021-931 honors the 60th anniversary of the Freedom Riders. Outside of uh, resolution 2021-930, anything else need to be pulled off of consent? I know people want to speak, but I would think you would want to reserve that for the floor and not be repetitive. Cool, all right. Um, all in favor of that consent agenda for resolutions, say aye. Any nays? Any not voting? so much um, I guess we will take up RS 2021 930 separately honors the life of Louis E Johnston jr. can I get a motion I don't do we have a letter on this one I don't have a letter we don't have a letter and I don't see a sponsor then maybe we should you're, sponsor. you're a co-sponsor would you like to speak to this And since the um, pandemic has begun, it's just been rolling. There's been lots of people in the community that have been involved to share and to donate, and they've been able to distribute food and clothes to people that really need it, and that's why I co sponsored. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for our sponsor? Uh, not a question for the sponsor, but a comment about this is just in some brief research today, um, I do not feel that this uh, – Honoree, this this uh, Nashvilleian embodies some of the principles that this council has supported, or that I personally can support or celebrate. Uh, from my research, it is um, it is shocking some of the positions that this man has, and so I would like to in either move to indefinitely defer this, or would definitely be voting against it. Is that? I was going to say, is that a motion to indefinitely? I'm at the will of the committee. I'm the first to speak. So. Okay, so we've got a motion and a second for an indefinite deferral. Any comments or discussion on? Yes. Yes. Um, thanks for recognizing me, although I'm not on the committee. Um, I agree with Council Member Murphy, and I think it's uh, honestly reprehensible enough where it needs to be said for the record. And so the, the resolution says that this gentleman founded and ran the American Constitution Center, a public library for Judeo-Christian patriot heritage, promoting the American system of fundamental principles. So I went to the American Constitution Center's website and under a page entitled Duties and Rights, it um, says, and so this, this is this gentleman's um, organization, says that one of the major lies of our times is that Islam is a peaceful religion. Um, it further says the First Amendment does not give Islamists the right to build mosques in the United States. And there's also an article posted, um, authored by the gentleman, uh, December 3, 2016, on his website, that says, in part, only Muslims commit terrorist acts, attacks in the service of their God. I've been sounding this alarm for a decade now, he says, fighting Muslim lunacy, spreading like a cancer across the globe. He goes on to say, my documentary, American Mosque Exposed, was featured again last night on national television because more Americans are finally realizing this Muslim lunacy is coming after us right here in America. This is just a small sampling of the um, frankly, just bigoted um, statements um, uh, under this 
gentleman's name on the organization's website that he founded. And uh, I would urge the committee to um, approve the motion that Council Lady Murphy just made. Thank you. And, as and I'll just follow up. This, this council has gone on the record as being um, supportive of our transgender uh, neighbors. We have gone on the record as supporting all religions. We have gone on the record as supporting teachers and teachers' unions. Um, we have gone on the record supporting immigrants and refugees. And I think that uh, from, from what I have read, I do not feel that this resolution coincides or falls along the lines that this body has already taken positions on. So with that, I would like to call the question. I'm going to allow the, the, the sponsor to speak um, out of turn, sorry, because um, I just, he's here and I want to give him an opportunity. I think it's a non-debatable motion. Well, so you want to get I always forget that part. <laughs> Councilman Swope, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, and I apologize. I was in public safety and ran over here and ran back and forth. I didn't know you had burned through the first two pages of the agenda as quickly as you had. I've known Louis Johnson for 20 years, or did. Uh, Louis took the Goodlettsville fast pitch softball team to the world championship in 94. He's coached, uh, Jesus, children from ages 5 through 30 over the past 20, 30 years in the city. Much more importantly, his group, Layman Lessons, has fed well over 20,000 people, clothed them, brought 10,000 people to Jesus in his ministry. He's an ordained minister. I'm sure that he had viewpoints that some of us don't agree with, but for this body not to recognize the good that he has done in this city single-handedly and having the number one charity in America in two of 2018, I'm kind of stunned. So I'll leave it to you to make the decisions you want to make. Thank you. We have a motion on the floor for an indefinite deferral. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any against? I'm going to abstain. Moving on. Late items, late filled res uh, as a late filed resolution by Council Lady Toombs, a resolution accepting a grant from the State of Tennessee, Department of Finance and Administration, Office of Criminal Justice Programs to the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, acting by and through the Davidson County General Sessions Court Division Three, for the Cherished Hearts Adult Reentry, which serves the needs of crime victims who have experienced sexual and physical trauma, a previously underserved community. Um, Councilor Lady Toombs, I see that you're here. If you can speak to why it's late filed, why it needs to be moved today, not to the um, the content of it, but just why it's late filed. Thank you. Um, Hannah, if you could help me out as far as why this resolution is, is late filed, there's someone from Judge Escobar's chamber. <clears throat> Grace Fulbright and I work with Judge Escobar in General Sessions Division 3 and we had to file this late at this time because um, there was a lot of problems with the grant at the initially trying to get it approved. Finally, it was approved and we have to have a contract signed before May, the end of May in order to keep the funds. Otherwise, we would lose it. We, we applied, applied for this, for this grant, grant in mid-grant mid season, season, in, in mid-grant mid mid year, year, so they so made they an, exception an exception for the grant application, application. and they're and willing they're to extend it over a year for us. Perfect. Does anybody have any objection to this late filed resolution? Seeing none, moving on. Um, bills on second reading, BL 2021-693, Councilman Hall establishes a solid waste Commission, a special solid waste commission to review and identify solutions for the long term disposal of Nashville solid waste. Is Councilman Hall in the room? That's deferred by rule. Thank you. Um, BL 2021 718, Councilman Cash amends. Okay. And Murphy, I'm sorry, amends the Metro Code Chapter 2.76 related to the Board of Electrical Examiners and Appeals, 2.84 related to the Board of Gas Mechanical Examiners and Appeals, and 2.92 related to the Board of Plumbing Examiners and Appeals. I do think um, the sponsor plans to defer. Yes. 
Does anybody have any objection to that one meeting deferral? I would like to just explain real quick. Sure. Um, if you all read the analysis, it does make sense that these boards are being consolidated. Um, as they're being consolidated, uh, they are being sensitive, it seems, to how it is being apportioned out. But um, I have been on this committee for, for six years, and I have a memory that certain positions on these boards are appointed and have union membership and that is not currently in what is proposed by the administration the administration is open to an amendment and we are working on an amendment to make sure that that union uh, representation remains on the board and so rather than have a late filed amendment on third we're going to defer that and i ask that once this comes back and we have that amendment to continue that proper representation that you all support it then so with that i'd like to renew a uh, motion to defer one meeting Perfect, and I see Councilman Sledge has joined us. Thank you. Um, so we have a deferral motion on the floor. All in favor? Any against? Any not voting? Thank you. All right, on to elections and confirmations. Um, I do have a seat reserved for um, whoever we are interviewing at the time, and so we will just rotate out. Um, the first one is um, Electrical Examiners and Appeals Board reappointment of Mr. Terry Atwood Wood for a term expiring June 20th, 2025. I assume you're Mr. Terry Atwood. Yes. Perfect. If you can just give us a couple of minutes on why you would like to be reappointed to this particular board. We didn't do nothing the last time. We <laughs> met once or twice and we ain't done nothing to help the electrical business in this town. <clears throat> All right. Is it I wasn't really crazy about getting on it again, but I will. Well, I appreciate that. She just said it's hard to fill those positions. We need people that, that know um, what they're doing to do it, and so I appreciate your willingness to serve. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Atwood? Yes. I just want to make sure, you, obviously you know that this board is one of the ones that I just spoke about consolidating, and so I assume that you would, when they consolidate the members, you're going to ask to not to be reappointed, it sounds like, or... I don't know. I'd say it again. So this is one of the boards we just discussed that is being consolidated, and it sounds like you're not thrilled to be on it. So, would you like us to appoint you tonight, or okay? I, would, I mean, it, it, it ain't nothing. We met twice over the last three or four years, and we talked no good business, and we ain't helped the electrical business none. I think that's probably why we're consolidating them. So. Probably so. Okay. Well, again, I appreciate your willingness to serve. Does anybody have any questions or comments? All right. All in favor? Aye. Any against? Any not voting? Thank you so much, Mr. Atwood. You can go. <laughs> all right. Um, Mr. Petit Dash. So for the human relations reappointment, um, this is a term expiring April the 18th of 2024. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Take as much time as you want to explain why, uh, what skills and experience that you have that's going to um, lend yourself to this particular commission and why you would like to serve, yeah. continue to serve. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I've been working with immigrants and refugee communities for the last uh, six years, and uh, I said this in my last interview and I'm happy to say it again just keep it short and sweet but I really love this city I want to do what I can to make it better and um, I really you know I want to I want to do everything that I can to just make sure that uh, people of all colors faiths and religions um, feel welcome and do whatever I can to make the city inclusive for all so much does anybody have any questions for mr. dash move approval uh, well um, council lady Styles, <laughs> you have the floor uh, thank you chair and I don't have a question. I just wanted to say that I am very familiar with Mr. Praktiki, and he is amazing. He has served in so many capacities um, for the city, working with immigrants' rights on, on multiple fronts, and I think you are a wonderful addition to continue serving for the city. Thank you. Thank you. With that, I would move oh, Mr. Rutherford. Sure. add on to that because I, I know that the, the work that, that he does in his, in his day job has been very instrumental to uh, some people in my district uh, in particular and so I just wanted to point that out and I wholeheartedly endorse it. All right. <laughs> so on record, this is outstanding. <laughs> Next time you're feeling bad about yourself, just come yeah, in for reappointment. Happy, happy to. <laughs> All right, all in favor? Any against? Any not voting? 
Thank you so much. Uh huh. All right, uh, Mr. Robertson. Come on I know, down. come on down. I know, the price is right. <laughs> if only there was a big wheel we could spin to see what you won tonight. All right, uh, the Electrical Examiners and Appeals Board appointment of Mr. D.J. Robertson for a term expiring April 15th, 2025. How are you this evening? All right, well, you can take as much time as you need. We've got plenty of time to, <laughs> to let us know why you would like to serve on this board. Well, all of my career life, I always seek the opportunity to be of service. And this is an opportunity to be of service, see, not only to the city government, to the people, community, and all. So when, I, when they called me and asked me to, would I consider, I told them, yes, I go ahead and consider. So my career is electrical contracting, teaching school, which I taught t trade school for a good 12 years. And I developed the understudies as people, you know, who want to learn the trade after the community. So this is just another opportunity to be of service. Well, thank you so much. I know, like in my district, we've had flooding, and I had an entire complex that was uh, had the electricity turned off because of compromised wiring. And so the electrical contractors and engineers were um, super instrumental in coming in and, and quickly um, coming in to assess the damage and see what needed to happen in order to to re-energize that, that facility safely. So thank you for what you do. Yeah. Do you have a question, Consulting Murphy? And did the administration talk to you about the consolidation of these three boards? I had learned of it. I don't have any detailed information, okay. but you know, whatever they decide to do, I just, I'm a team player anyway. So <laughs> well, that, I is, that is greatly appreciated. <laughs> I go and ahead and work with them because, see, I've been dealing with Metropolitan Government codes, I guess, since the early 70s. Would you like to volunteer in the codes department? I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, you do. I have to find the time, you know, but, I, but when I commit, I always, I always, when I commit, I always stay with what I commit to do. Well, I just wanted to share that uh, I did when talking to the administration about the consolidation piece and amending that. I, I did ask them that anybody who is not staying on the consolidated board yes. that they get their kind of first pick of other committees and it sounds like you being a team player we need <laughs> and yes, i look yes. forward to seeing you and confirming you again on another board soon but well, thank you very much all right does anybody else have any questions or comments for or about mr robertson all right all in favor Aye. any against any not voting thank you so much all right, with that, we are adjourned.